Yesterday was uh, the birthday of John Alfred Tinniswood, and he celebrated his 112th birthday and has lived through the most extraordinary century of history, including both world wars, 24 different prime ministers in the UK, the sinking of the Titanic, which occurred in the same year that he was born, and his life is a testimony to resilience and longevity. He currently holds the title of the world's oldest living man, according to the Guinness World Book of Records, following the passing of Juan Vincent Perez de Venezuela, who was 114 years old. Now, the official record <coughs> for the oldest verified man in history is held by Hiramon Kimura of Japan, who lived to be 116 uh, years old and 54 days, passing around June the 12th, 2013. Uh, the record for the oldest verified person ever is Jean Calment of France, who lived to 122 and 164 days, passing away on August the 4th, 1997. Uh, these records highlight the exceptional cases of longevity with people... Um, normally not reaching such advanced age. Tinniswood himself remarked on this and said that uh, the, the, the reason for him getting to that age is somewhat beyond our control. It's luck, uh, despite uh, a healthy lifestyle. Uh, the, if you go back to the Bible, um, Methuselah is the oldest person at 969 years, according to the book of Genesis. And while this figure is probably symbolic and not based on empirical evidence, it has fueled fascination with the limits of human life. Methuselah's age has been interpreted in various ways, including a metaphor for wisdom, longevity, a, a reward for good life, for life well lived. Um, Adam, the, many of the early patriarchs are apparently, were apparently... Uh, well over centenarian status. Modern science has long debated the theoretical maximum human lifespan, and some researchers suggest that if we could eliminate disease, mitigate the effects of ageing, humans might live to 120 to 150 years old, or possibly even longer. Advances in genetic research, the opportunity of transplants, uh, regenerative medicine, uh, lifestyle interventions could push these boundaries even further. But the idea of living beyond 150 years remains speculative and fraught with significant biological changes. Um, and there's a... Um, the, 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 the challenge of living beyond 150, I think, would be extreme. Um... I think the, the the first thing that uh, one would have to do if one was going to try to 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 live to that age would be to control the mind and or to 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 uh, secure ensure the safety of the mind and and maybe the mind can um, live beyond our our body like a like, like a um like a post um pandial uh, um, survival, <laughs> surviving beyond breakfast, surviving beyond dinner. Um, and uh, th there have been claims, particularly in remote regions such as Tibet, parts of the Caucasus, of individuals living beyond 120 years, but these claims are often difficult to verify and are usually considered exaggerated, unsubstantiated, or couched in mythology and... Uh, the, the, the language of the supernatural. Factors such as poor record keeping, different calendar systems, cultural tendencies to attribute long life spans to wisdom, spiritual enlightenment contribute to these extraordinary claims. Also, the, the, the problem of, I, of identifying and isolating the, the, the moment or the concept of death uh, in Tibet, for example, the living mummies, at what point do they die if somebody is um, 
is mummifying themselves and 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 dedicated to a to a permanent state of meditation uh and uh and and following the various sutras to uh to um get into that state a again it's it's actually quite difficult i would imagine to um to to recognize the point at which life stops and uh, mummification death actually begins. John Alfred um, Tinniswood's life serves as a fascinating example of human longevity in modern times, but it also prompts reflections on the limits of human life and the factors that contribute to an exceptional life. While the Guinness World Records provides verified accounts of the oldest individuals, myths like Methuselah, and unverified claims from regions like Tibet continue to capture the imagination. Um, and uh, there's, um, there's, there's a, Greek, a Greek claim. The oldest uh, woman in Greece was uh, Irini uh, Barulakis, who died at the age of 119 earlier this year. She lived in uh, Paivachori, in the muni municipality of Apokoronas in Khania, in Crete, and she died in May. And the municipality, in its announcement, stated uh, that the local community respectfully bid farewell to the oldest person in Greece. And it's um, it's it. I suppose it's an achievement, but it but it's not really an achievement of the individual. It's an achievement of uh, the forces of nature and the um, benevolence of the divine and uh, whether through genetics, lifestyle or future medical advancements the quest to understand and perhaps extend human life will remain a compelling area of inquiry um, but um, I, 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 I find it sort of Fascinating, if slightly spooky, as Dame Edna Everidge would have said.